Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Eric. In today's video, I'll be showing you some advanced lookup functions, like having multiple criteria for your VLOOKUP or index and match. Let's get started. In this video, I'll be showing how you can use VLOOKUP with two or three criteria to return your value. I'll be showing you with a helper column and also without a helper column. So we'll begin with the helper column. So basically we'll be combining columns B, C, and D together to get the country. So first let's do the two criteria with VLOOKUP. So we need to combine columns B and C together. So we'll do equals B2 and C2 and then hit enter. And then we'll double click or drag this down. And with the helper column with two criteria, it's pretty simple. We'll type in equals VLOOKUP and then we'll select G2 and H2, and then we'll hit comma. For the table array, we'll be selecting columns A to D, and then we'll hit comma. The column index number is a column in which we want to return the value. So we'll be entering four for column D, and then hit comma, and then zero, because we want an exact match. Close off your bracket, and then hit enter. Let's double check this, and we'll select another Another name here. Awesome. So with three criteria, it's pretty much similar. In the helper column, we just need to include column D. So for this, we'll need to change this to a value. And then we'll add the column D in here as well. And then drag this down. And then pretty much the exact same thing. So equals VLOOKUP. We'll be selecting G2 and H2 and I2. Hit comma. Table array, same thing, we're going to include co to column E, and then comma, column index number is the column that we want to return the data value in, so it's 5, comma, 0, we want an exact match, close off our bracket, hit enter, and there we go, from China, let's try now. This is how you can use two or three criteria to return your value with a helper column. Next, we'll be looking at, we look at without helper column, so we're typing equals VLOOKUP, and we'll be selecting G2 and H2, and hit comma. Now we're going to type in choose. Now it's asking for an index number. In this case, we'll open up the brace brackets or the curly brackets, and we'll type in 1, comma, 2. So this is telling Excel that we have a table array with two columns. Next, we'll hit comma. It's asking for a value 1. So this is the column with the first value, which is column B. Then we're going to do the ampersand sign, select column C as well, and then hit your comma. So for value two, it's the column that has our value that we want to return. So that's column D. And then close off our bracket, enter comma. Now for the column index number, since we already told Excel that there's two columns in this table array, we're going to select the second column and then hit comma zero for an exact match and then close off your bracket and then hit enter. There we go. Let's try another one here. Awesome. That works. So with the, let's fix this here. So with three criteria, it's essentially the same as before. So type in equals VLOOKUP. And then for the lookup value, we select G2 and H2 and I3. And then hit comma. And then for the table array, we're going to type in choose. And then open up our brace brackets. We'll type in 1, comma, 2 for our table array. And then hit comma. Value 1, we'll be selecting column B. Ampersand column C, ampersand column D, comma, and then for value two, we'll select column, column E, close off our brackets, enter a comma, and then for the column index number, same thing, we only have two columns in this table array, so we're going to select the second column, and then comma, zero, for an exact match, close off our brackets, and there you go. So let's try one more here. 
Awesome. All right, I hope you found this useful. We'll see you in the next video. In this video, I'll be showing how you can use index and match with either two or three criteria to return your value. So let's look at the one with two criteria. So in the cell, we'll enter equals index. And then for the array or the reference, we'll select the column which has our cell value that we want to return. So that's C in this case. And then we'll hit comma. Next, we'll type in the match function. And the match function is asking for a lookup value. In this case, we'll be selecting F2 and G2. And then we'll hit comma. Now it's asking for a lookup array. For the lookup array, it's column A and column B. And then we'll hit comma. And then zero for an exact match. And then we'll close off two brackets and then hit enter. So let's check this. We'll enter a different name here. Awesome. So with three criteria is essentially the same. We'll start off with the equals index. And then for the array or the reference, we'll select column D and then hit comma. For the row number, we'll enter a match function and then we'll select F2 and G2 and H2. And then we'll press comma and the lookup array is a column A, column B and column C. Close off and then hit comma, zero for an exact match, close off our brackets twice and hit enter. So let's try a different name here. So I'm gonna try one more just to be sure. Thank you for watching. See you back in the studio. Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also leave a comment down below for any topics or suggestions that you want me to cover. See you in the next video.